So, a couple of weeks ago, I set about renovating my dirty, dusty shed. <coughs> into my version of a football paradise, hence the name of this channel. So many of you watching this will remember the glory days of Soccer AM in like the late 90s, early 2000s, when they had a lovely, cosy studio setup full of novelty, quirky items from different football clubs. It was nice. So I thought to myself, Roy, let's do something similar here in 2024. All the way back in 2020 during lockdown, we bought our current home to the side of me over there. At the time, a two bed bungalow. Now, where I'm currently stood is a carport off the side of the bungalow. It had a carport when we bought it, but it was falling down and stuff. So one of the first things we did was rebuilt this carport. Everyone was on the home gym hype at the time. I was really into my fitness back then, believe it or not. And I was equally as immersed in the home gym hype. So this was originally my home gym. I had a little YouTube channel called The Shred Shed. And that was indeed the cringy name of this place, The Bloody Shred Shed. But once lockdown had gone and normality had resumed, I started to change, as you can see, what was The Shred Shed. And it become a little bit more of a dusty shrine to my love of 90s football. I've got all kinds of memorabilia, Corinthians, wall charts, shirts and so on, but it is infested with spiders, it's dusty, and I'm not gonna lie to you, there's literally not enough hours in a day for me at the moment. You know my daily routine, I'm a milkman throughout the night, and then straight off the milk round, I'll either go straight into some of the football ground tours we do, filming for the channel, or I'll go straight into editing the footage I'd filmed the previous day. I've got no excuses. It's time, guys, to crack on with finally redeveloping Footy Paradise HQ. Let's get the B&Q. I've got no plan, really, as to what I'm buying, but I do have a vague plan as to what I want to do around here. So let me just show you what I want to do. Again, I've been that low on time. I've not even had a chance to get rid of some of the old home gym kit. Behind me over here, you've got a leg extension leg curl machine. You've got a carve raise machine. You've got a lap pull down cable pulley kind of machine. I've got a bench over there in the distance. I've got some hex rubber dumbbells on a stand. I could go on and on and on as to what home gym equipment I've got. But as you can tell by the dust and my ever increasing belly line, I've not been using the gym equipment. I don't care about home gyms, training and all that lot. I care about football, providing you with decent content. So over in the corner, we're going to create like a bit of a bar kind of area, but it's not going to be a bar, of course. I'm going to have a counter, like a tabletop kind of thing, whereby I can sit behind and we can basically film our videos, our live streams from this corner. It's a long way off at the moment. I've got all the Corinthian figures on display. I went a bit mad and I started trying to collect every one of the original Corinthian headliners from like 96 to 99. That kind of got put on hold again because I've literally got no space. But we are going to clean up all the memorabilia, all the nostalgia, and basically create a space we can show it off in all its glory. So ladies and gents, that's a very vague plan, but that is the plan. Let's go over to B&Q. Let's go. Right guys, the fun bit now is getting 250 quid's worth of stuff. Yes, 250 bloody quid. Mrs. is gonna, is gonna go mad. I need to get all this into my trusty little van. Yeah, you've seen my little crappy little car. Sold our cars last year to free up money for developing our house. And uh, this little bad boy hasn't let me down yet. The only problem is we have to pay £12.50 every time we go to a big city to do the stadium tours. But yes, yeah, a little van, let's try and cram this in. I've got the saw, saw off the panels, and uh, yeah, fingers crossed. So we just managed to squeeze it in, just. Um, I have made a pit stop for a sausage and egg bap though, and of course, the monster assault. Because we are gonna assault this carport. We're gonna tackle it head on. We need to get this finished by tomorrow morning. Let's go. Right then guys, so we've got back in one piece. I thought I'd just show you as to 
basically what this man cave is. As you can imagine uh, what was a 1960s bungalow, you've got the carport on the side. I won't get too much of my house in because it'll give away where I live. And then you've got what was the bungalow. We basically turned this two bed, sixes bungalow into a four bed house. It absolutely wiped us out money wise. That's why I drive a crappy old van and stuff. But yeah, so unfortunately for my missus, she's got our bungalow, or what was the bungalow, our house looking ultra modern and kind of white and minimal and ultra clean, can I just add. And then she has to put up with this, the way into the house, being my man cave, looking an absolute scruffy mess. So it's embarrassing for us. So not only am I doing this for YouTube, creating a studio and a man cave and stuff, it also is going to look a lot better, isn't it, coming in? No one wants to walk in to the house looking at all this so we're going to sort it out so it's not just for me it's to keep her sweet as well let's crack on what i'm going to do again i'm going to create that kind of think of like a, where managers do press conferences that sort of table create a little mini version of that over in a corner and then basically completely tidy everything up i've got some led lights we can use i've got loads of bits and bobs knocking around because obviously we spent 200 250 quid uh so we don't really want to be spending that much more money let's crack on Right then guys, so day one is done and dusted. I've not made as much progress as I'd hoped. I say day one, I've only been doing it for a couple of hours. I've got a bad back, bad neck, every excuse going. And I've been bodging my way through this. So let me just flip the camera around and show you the progress so far. Okay then, please excuse the mess. These weights are gonna go. So we've got more space going outside. Basically we're going for like a mini bar counter kind of thing. Again, we're not using this as a bar. This is very much a YouTube studio and I'm gonna slap the front. As you can see over there with this slatted panel in, I'm gonna slap the front along here. I'm gonna use this countertop as you can see to put the camera on and so on. Basically giving us various angles for when we're filming, when we're live streaming and stuff. Got another bar counter there. I've got the old Tottenham Hotspur bar mat from when we visited the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. So we could display all of the items we've picked up from the, the stadium tours we've done this season. And let me just pop this on here and show you exactly what I mean. So the beauty of this camera is it can track your face and you can move around. So we can be over here chatting, blah, 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 and it's still picking me up. I can even come around here. I'm guessing it's still picking me up, hello. So this worktop is essentially used, gonna be used for the camera. And I can come over here and we can display stuff over here. Night is nostalgia, we can display various items we're talking about. And I can even sit down, down here. There you go, sitting down here. So we've got loads of options. If I pop the camera over here, again, we can sit down, we can live stream down here. I can put a little table here. We can create a bit of a setup around here. On this bottom half here, I am obviously gonna cover it up. I think I'm gonna put loads of uh, loads of kind of nostalgic magazines like Match or sticker albums and stuff. I want this to be proper nostalgic down here. I've gone for the clean white finish. Just looks a little bit better on camera. So there we go, a long way off. It's probably hard for you to visualize, but I'm happy with how it's going on day one. I'll see you tomorrow. Right then guys, day two, here we go. I've made a, a bit of progress this morning. The gym kit behind me, people on Facebook Marketplace say they're gonna pick it up. Take everything you hear, see on Facebook with a pinch of salt, I bloody hate that place. So yes, what have we done so far? Let me flip the camera around. There we go. So we finished the wood slat paneling, guys. That edge, that three by two or whatever that is, I'm gonna paint black. Again, if you're in the trade, this probably isn't the best bit of work you've ever seen. Bit of a bodge job, but it serves its purpose. Now, as we head in here, you can see I've got a shirt hanging up. Now, Mr. Bodge job that I am, I was a little bit worried because the battens aren't long enough to go from that bearer to that bearer. But I did work out that if you just... wedge the coat hangers up into the wood, it works fine. So we can basically fill this space over here with football shirts, which I think will look quite good. 
So obviously, um, I don't want to keep flexing my camera, the fact that it moves around, but we've got options now. We can live stream here, film videos here. I can fill all this up with football shirts. The plan now, though, is to create... I've got a sign over there, Rice Football Paradise sign. We're not just going to put that on the wall. I'm going to pack it out with a bit of batter and put some tacky LED lights behind it like people do with their TVs. And I've got some plug sockets there so we can get the, uh, get the sign pop in. It's going to look tacky, but it's going to look quite good. As you can see down here, as you can see down here, we've got pebbles. Because again, we're going with a paradise theme, almost like a beach theme. Right then guys, so as you can see behind me, we've painted the edges black. I've got a bit of the old masking tape on just to keep everything neat and tidy. Whilst that dries, I just want to show you around here at the Rise Football Paradise sign. Take a look at that. Tacky LEDs, but it's got to be done, hasn't it? What I'm going to do now is the fun part. We're going to start getting open some of the stuff we've gathered from visiting all the, the Premier League stadiums and even stadiums below the Premier League, all the items we picked up this season, as well as some of my 90s nostalgia stuff you've already seen on the walls. So let's start decorating a place, shall we? I think we're pretty much there in terms of the setup. Remember, I need the angles right for the live streams, for videos and so on. It's not just a man cave. Ladies and gents, get your ideas in the comments below. I'm guessing TV, mini fridge. guys let's have a little look round can I just say this isn't finished I think this place is going to take forever to finish so any suggestions you have as we do this little tour drop a comment below and also if you're wondering why I'm looking like a chubby Harry Potter with that scar on my big old forehead it's because that thing in the corner over there those shelves uh they, they needs a sign it's a health hazard it's a risk to safety to people in here so i think it'll only be me able uh allowed to film in here because it's too dangerous so i bust my head open didn't i right then guys let me crack on i'm gonna spin the camera around and we're gonna have a look we're only gonna have a quick like spin around though because straight after this video or later on today if you're watching this on wednesday the something of march we're going to be headed into a live stream where we're going to take a look at some of the collectibles we're gonna have a corinthian uh, mooch around, we're going to have a Merlin stickers mooch around, we're going to have a uh, there's some McDonald's items, football shirts we're going to break down each and every one of these items in this bloody man cave on the live stream if you're watching this after the live stream's finished don't worry, that live stream will be uploaded as an individual video and it will play after this video or it will be in the comments below or it'll be on the channel somewhere right, enough rambling, you've done enough of that today Roy let's go and have a look, shall we? Let's go! Right, so ideally, I wanted to film this when it's dark because most of this carport has been bodged by me over the years and I've like insulated it, but kind of pointlessly because it's got polycarbonate sheets, which is why it's got a lot of daylight. But guys, this is basically the corner I'm going to be sat in for a lot of videos, live streaming from. But again, as I've mentioned in the video, we've got flexibility with this bar area, which is currently frequented by Sir Les, one of my favorite 90s footballers from the hospitality strip, uh, strip? There was no stripping, trip to Burnley the other week. We got some coasters. We've got this Tottenham Hotspur bar mat. Because essentially, if we do get TV, I, I say essentially too much, apologies for that guys. If we do get a TV in here, we can have a pint or five. I need to admit something. I am a Villa member, despite being a Man United fan, you know, give me grief in the comments below. 
bring it on. But I've got this from my Villa membership, which is kind of like a mixer thing. Cantona speaks, VHS tape in the background. But you can see a few shirts, some real, some from DH Gate, up, hiding up there. You've got Gunnosaurus. Remember when we do these stadium tours and when we visit each and every Premier League stadium, the rule was that we had to buy something from the club shop. As a filminist, we still got Luton and Brighton to do. They're being ticked off the list over the next couple of weeks. So Gunnosaurus was our Arsenal purchase over there. One of our early stadium tours, really good stadium tour at Molyneux. We've got the Wolves clock. And below Gunnosaurus, you've got an Everton pair of Hawaiian style shorts, which is very fitting as this is the football paradise. But I also got them because they match the Villa Hawaiian shirt. Fanatics, I think, is the company that make those shirts and shorts. I think lots of clubs do them. I really like this sign. I mean, my logo is very basic. I say my logo, our logo, should I say. But it is, if you haven't guessed already, a spoof of the original Premier League badge. We've got that Hereford shirt. Check out the Hereford United video if you're a Hereford fan, a Brighton fan, or just a nostalgic guy reminiscing about old times like me. Over here, you've got the Sugar Puffs soccer toppers. You're going to see loads of Corinthians in this video, of course, guys, as well as the Premier Pops, the kind of pop-up cardboard version over there. That monkey isn't just a random monkey. You can see the LFC. That is our Liverpool purchase when we visited Anfield. Anfield was actually our first stadium tour this season. Who remembers goal hangers? I'm going to buy a few more of those. Got David Beckham, probably my favourite footballer at the time as a kid. Kino in the background just doing his job. On the ceiling, I've made a start. I don't want this to, to look perfect. Again, being all nostalgic, we're trying to... Let me get a better view, guys. We're trying to reminisce about our childhood and stuff. So we always had posters, didn't we, on our bedroom walls? Maybe not the roof, but they were never put up perfectly. So that's my excuse over there. I'm going to start putting up wall charts, posters and so on on the ceiling. I really love this Euro 96 bunting. I wasn't going to open the pack because it is an original bunting from 96. But I love, I love it. Over here, you've got the Craven Cottage sign from our trip to Fulham. When we went to Fulham, we also bought, where is it? Oh, it's over here. That lovely magnet of the pavilion. As we're over here on the floor, it's not looking its best, but we have improved it. Those rubber mats are kind of still there, but we've put those outdoor rugs. So they're dog proof. You've probably seen I've got lots of chow chows. Hence the name Chow Chow Palace. We've got the pebbles continuing again, going for that paradisey beach theme. I mean, the panelling is looking all right, isn't it? Got the blue LEDs on the go. So on the floor, you've got every club shop bag from those Premier League visits and other club shops. We've not just done Premier Leagues this season. Loads more Corinthian boxes, headliners. Now these would would have been on the counter of like Woolworths back in the day. It's mad. Those those figures right there. We're going for only 225 an absolute bargain for a, a Viali blister pack. You've got the England manager over there, Gareth Southgate, in his Villa kit. Got a few programmes there, guys. I did buy some stuff from Classic Football Shirts in Manchester not so long ago. I haven't even opened that up. These over here are sealed boxes of those Corinthian blister packs, but they've not been opened. So this would have gone out to Asda back in the day. You can see that's a, a Paul Gascoigne box. Completely unopened, so they should be box fresh, guys. Loads more, obviously. Dennis Burkamp, Alan Shearer, Premier League all time top scorer. Safe hands, David Seaman, David Batty. Nobody knows where he's gone, he's just disappeared off the face of the earth. We've got a Gaza ball game in the distance. Now, as we're making comparisons to Soccer M, even though this looks nothing like the Soccer M studio, those who watch Soccer M in the 90s will kind of know what I'm going for. I don't have room for a sofa, so we've got the individual chair. But those of you who watched it around 98 or leading into the World Cup in 98 will remember that Soccer M collected France 98. Uh, items, quirky items like like we like, like we love on the channel. So I originally had planned to create my very own Soccer M style France 98 wall, just like Tim Lovejoy did. 
So over here, I started it, just never finished it. So if you want me to continue that, I'm happy to do so. We've got France 98 Monopoly. We've got a France 98 McDonald's Cup, McDonald's Happy Meal. We've even got France 98 Happy Meal toys over there. I've got some inside there as well. A mug, a Gillette shaver thing. We've got the Panini stickers over there as well, guys. So many items. I mean, these are the Euro 96 England team. I've got Man United and Villa. Arguably my two, two or three favourite clubs. Not forgetting Hereford as a kid. We've got Forest over here. These ones in the boxes are probably more valuable of Corinthians. I mean, you've got Graham Sunez in his manager days at Southampton. We've got Colton Palmer's quite an expensive one over there. Andy Clark. We've got a dog lead, a random Burnley dog lead and a cup from Wolves. We've got a rude Hullet over there. Who remembers Smugs? Those mugs, we've got another one, Celez one over there as well, we're going to look at in a moment. A Gaza, England's top. We've even got, going back to France 98, we've got a box of shreddies with a key ring up there somewhere. There is still cobwebs and it's still dusty, guys, so go easy on me. This place is never going to be perfect, but we've improved it. We've got a Mexico 86 World Cup bag, really random. Got some United goalie tops from my childhood over there and a way one. Who remembers over here? You've got the Corinthian also did the Premier Power Play. These were essentially, essentially again, I love that word, Barbie dolls for lads. You could dress them, change their heads. Not the most manly of toy, completely different from the normal Corinthians. Again, every 90s kid would collect stickers. Now this one is by Merlin. You've got the Euro 96 sticker album and a pack of stickers there in the corner. I've re I should have dusted these off. They're looking exactly like they did before we did the makeover. But we got all, we got every single one, should I say, of those original England Corinthians. Every one. Uh, somewhere, somewhere here anyway. We collected every England one. We've got the 98 team here. Glenn Hoddle and so on. We've got a Liverpool team arguably underachieved. The Spice Boys era. I love that Ian Rush Corinthian over there. Can't really see him too well. Loads more over here. Let's not get too much, too focused on Corinthians. A real random photo here of this United fan at City for the City Stadium tour with Pep Guardiola and everyone's favourite, my mum. Random Euro 96 wallet sealed and opened. We've got that duck up there uh, from the Newcastle Stadium tour. Somebody tried to tell me that's a magpie. That is definitely a bloody duck. Barry Venison over there in his England kit. A Ronaldinho top. That one there is a DH Gate special, guys. Let's uh, let's move around this way, shall we? That is an official Cantona top 94 to 90, 90 sorry 92 to 94 from Classic Football shirts. Some United pictures. We've got the Premier League Merlin's 99 sticker album. We've got probably one of definitely, in my opinion, the two best. 90s football VHS tapes. If you're a little bit older than me, a couple of years older, you'll probably prefer the Danny Baker's own goals and gaffes. For me, I was a Nick Hancock sort of guy. Some at Busby Way sign. We've got another magnet. We've got a pro set card over there, Bruce Grobelar. Oh my God, guys, we could go on and on and on. We've got all sorts in the corner. We've got the very first FIFA game. We've got a Euro 96 CD-ROM. We've got more Corinthians over here. We've even got one of Brian Bloody Kidd, assistant manager of Manu at the time. We've got Cantona. All right, let's just sit down here. Oh, this is one of my favourite tops. The Muller Villa top, the Brentford Teddy. We've got the Sheffield United golf balls, Man City pin set, Song. That's the modern version of Corinthians, guys. They still do soccer stars. I've started to put stickers on here. I might continue that trend. Even I've even gone to the point where I went to the news agents earlier on and I saw these by the counter. I got all caught up in my nostalgic feeling and seeing that they still do stickers. We've got some Champions League stickers. So I'm going to open those up on the live stream that's going to follow this today or straight after this video if you're not watching it live. As I said, I'm putting all shirts around here. We've got that grey one, Ronaldo. That's the R9 Ronaldo. Who remembers the changeable Man United one that went in one side white, reverse it, and then you got the gold. More Corinthians over there in the corner. But this is sort of my setup. When I do the live stream, guys, I have my laptop there and I have this light on. 
to kind of give me a bit of light, make me look all pretty or as much as, as, as I can as a fat Harry Potter, as I mentioned. We've got some more Corinthian special edition ones here. We've even got a Corinthian poster, a random PlayStation 1 and VHS player, because as I said, we've currently not got a TV. Now over here is where I'm going to probably plonk a little screen so that we can do in the future live watch alongs like Mark Goldbridge would do. But not just on United, of course. Well, he doesn't just, just do United, does he? He does that football. He does all sorts of games. We've got loads more VHS tapes. We've got Euro 96 magazines. I could just go on and on and bloody on. We've got the Spurs Corinthian team over there. Ladies and gents, this place, as I said, isn't, isn't anywhere near finished. Let's finish up this video, though, with Mr. Snorri over here. With my best mate, Hogan. You right, my boy? Hey, buddy. He literally, I'm not just saying it, he hates being on the camera. Every time I've got, got the camera on, he turns away, don't you, mate? But guys, and again, any suggestions, let us know. This is going to lead into the live stream tonight. It's been a pleasure. Oh, hang on. As I'm laid down here, let me just flip the camera around. I've completely missed that on the ceiling, I've got that many bloody Corinthians. I've got them on the ceiling as well. And over there, let's just get back up, shall we? Everyone had these sort of pictures as a kid. You've got Cantona and you've got a Villa one. I'm basically going to completely... Let's stick the light on. There we go. That's better. I don't even know why I didn't put the light on. We're going to completely fill all the, all the ceiling as well. But over here is unfinished. You remember we had that bar table over here. I've got the, the bench, the weight bench on there at the moment. I was going to hang up all my football shirts. I've got loads... Um, boxed up and stuff. I was going to hang them up all the way along here. But as I said, I'm trying to keep the missus sweet. And I thought it might be nice to have some of that black slatted panelling along here, like over at the, in the bar, around the bar area over there. Again, suggestions are welcome, guys. I sold most of the gym kit. I've still got a few plates behind me. I've still got a wall-mounted rack. The bench, as I said, over there. But I'm not really bothered about training. I don't mind being a fat Harry Potter. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in tonight's live stream or in that video if you're not watching it live. See you there.